Hello and welcome to Travel Talk. I'm David Gower and I'm going to be travelling to Australia yet again this winter. It's a place I've visited for the last 35, 40 years. Firstly as a cricketer, now in a broadcast. It's one of my favourite places in the world. For cricket fans this winter, the Ashes are going to be on show and it gives you a lot of opportunities to go and see the whole of Australia. But just think about this, the third test match could be the pivotal game in the middle of the series. It's being played in Perth in West Australia. And I have a special affection for the West because that's where I went as a young man, age 20. Of all those 19 beaches that are on offer in Perth, still my favourite is Cottesloe, just because it was pretty much the first one I got to know. I've got friends who live up at City Beach. You can go up to Scarborough. Uh, you can take your pick, to be honest, because they're all lovely, and they've all got this lovely Indian ocean lapping up against them. Perth has a, a million bars, pubs, restaurants, and you know, places to enjoy. At the end of the day, if you've been playing or watching cricket, one of my favourites actually is Coco South Perth, because you can go to this lovely restaurant. Seafood is a speciality, of course, in the west. You've got the sea right by there, so there's lots of fresh fish. Just above the city is Kings Park, where it's full of beautiful flowers, beautiful greenery, has the most fabulous views over the city. Fremantle, too, has a lot of charm. It's an sort of old-style Australian town now, right on the ocean, right on the side there by the harbour. I reckon my favourite bar in that area is actually that Little Creatures Brewery. It's just so buzzy. As cricketers, we've got to know a lot of Australian winemakers. There seems to be an absolute natural synergy between the two. But in the west, you can go all the way down to the Margaret River and find a host of gorgeous wines down there. Uh, one of the most famous is the Lewin Estate, uh, and they have some award-winning wines. If you want to stay closer to the city, just go down the Swan River to the Swan Valley. One of my favourites there is Sandalfords. If you're going down there for the cricket, but well, you're going to go to the Wacker, which has special memories for me. Uh, it was the place I made my first ever Ashes 100. And it's got that special feeling, the Wacker, because it's not as big as some of the Australian cricket grounds, like the SCG and the MCG, but it's got a special atmosphere, and it's seen some fabulous cricket over the years. Well, last time I went to the West for the last Ashes tour, we spent three, four days up the coast, about a two hour flight to get up to the Ningaloo Reef, which I'd never heard of before, but it was absolutely extraordinary. We just took a snorkel out off the beach. We stayed at what's called an eco resort called Sal Salis, um, in tents, right on the beach there pretty much. 10 metres off the beach is the reef and it is filled with all sorts of marine life. If you go up the road to Exmouth, there's the Navy Pier where you can dive off that for a couple of hours and you'll see everything. The last thing I can say is this, if you're thinking of going to Perth for the cricket this winter, treat it first as a travel experience. There's so much to do in Perth, so much to do in the West, then enjoy the cricket as well. If England, of course, are going to win down there, uh, that could be pivotal for the whole series. But enjoy the state first, enjoy Perth, then go for the cricket.